Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, <clears throat> how are you? I'm tired, teacher. Tired? Yes. Yeah, I imagine. A lot of work? Yes, a lot of work. As always, right? Always. I always <laughs> have a lot of work. I imagine. But let's resist. It's almost Friday. <laughs> okay, teacher. <Thank laughs> oh, you. but I remember that you work on weekends too, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, I usually work on Saturday. Yeah, I remember. Well, <laughs> anyway, but even though, let's resist. Let's resist a little bit. So welcome to the class. Yes. And I'm happy to see you, you here. Teacher. Very good. Who else is there? Thank you. Okay, let's see. Isabel Hernandez, how are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, a little stress in my job today. Really? It was a hard day? Yes, yes very hard. Yeah, I imagine that. But maybe tomorrow it will be better. Okay? It's almost yeah. Friday, so I hope tomorrow you can have a better day. So let's see who else, guys, camera on. I want to see you. Ah, I can see Ivan. Hello, Ivan, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey, okay, thank you. Very good, welcome to the class. I am back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Ready for the exam, right? Because today we have an exam. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right. Nah, no worries. I'm kidding. So, <laughs> welcome everybody. I'm happy to see you. Thank you for the one who has already the camera on. I can see just some of you, but if the others, I want to see you. Come on. So, everyone, is Thursday. Basically, we are starting a new month. Today is June 1st. So, how is the platform going? Are you working on the platform? Yes? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. only one says yes. And the other one? A little bit, mm. teacher. I'm going to share, guys, how your score is it, uh, so you can see your advance. Some of you had a very good advance. Some others, mm, guys, there are some people that hasn't even taken the midterm. I, I need you to take the midterm, okay? Remember, that's the exam. I, I need to uh, upgrade your scores. So for that, I need you to complete the midterm. Let's see. Okay, can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes. Okay, so far so good. Most of you have been working. I like it. I can see very good scores in the midterm, actually. I like that. So keep going, please. Keep going, keep going. For the one who hasn't taken the midterm, do it, please. I can see very good scores. There are some people that they are about to finish the unit number three. So, so far so good. I like that and very good scores. Excellent job. So for the one who hasn't taken the midterm, I mean, do it please. Okay, try to do it as soon as possible, at least the midterm because those are the grades that I'm going to upload tomorrow after the class. So try to, to, uh, to take the midterm today or tomorrow because I'm going to send the scores, all right? 
Be careful, be careful. Now, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Yes, no. Anyone? Oh my goodness. Did you, did you remember about uh, uh, problems for uh, 3PLs or something like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> some logistics problems, some logistic issues. Yes. What else, everyone? What else do you remember from yesterday? Uh huh. Hmm. Maybe we we should have a test. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, we were checking some of the phrases, right? Like social expressions that we can use that are very common. So today we are going to continue practicing. Okay, we are going to check some practice, some vocabulary, and the idea again is that you speak. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. The other ones, I'm waiting for you to turn it on. Okay, let me share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can. Yes, pretty good. Okay, as I said, today is June 1st. We are starting a new month. So everybody, week three, we are in the unit number two. And this is the topic that we are going to study today. Be a designed a basic checklist to hire a 3PL provider. Okay, so that is basically the topic for today. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Could I? Yes, please. Design a basic checklist checklist to hire a 3PL provider. Class objective. Participants will be able to uh, to will be participant will, participants will be able to a uh, checklist to oh, hire omit this one. provider. Mm -hmm. This one is not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Again, participant will be able to checklist to hire a 3PL provider and use extreme ad uh, adjectives to describe a situation. Very good. Adjectives. Adjectives. Okay, adjectives. That is the one, thank you. So we are going to have a checklist in the first part of the class and in the second part, we are going to learn how to use extreme adjectives, okay? So let's start checking some vocabulary. What is the meaning, not the translation? The meaning of receiving. What is that? Receiving is when, when somebody gives you something and you and you receive in your hand or in your mail or in other place some things. Mm -hmm. Basically that, right? Somebody sends a package and you get the package. Easy. Now, what is the meaning of stacking? What do you think? Look at the picture. What is stacking? Put one stuff in on another stuff. Pretty good, exactly. Imagine that you have a lot of boxes. You need to organize the boxes. So you start to putting one box on another box and the other two again on the first one and so on and so on so no, you no, start stacking okay teacher it yes? is it is same when in a warehouse i remember when i work when i work in an in a warehouse we we use the word estiva estivar is something um, like that i've never heard that before <laughs> so I'm okay not sure. it is is when when you have I don't know how do you say tarima, the pieces of of whole um, of wood. Like a, like a platform? 
Yes, like uh, made made of wood. Okay. You put inside that a lot of boxes with uh, one one level first and other level in, in above and like that. Mm -hmm. When when you have a lot of levels, that is an estiva in Spanish. Is something like that? It's similar, yes. Because if we translate this word stocking, it's like the verb apilar. So that word comes from that verb. So in the end, it's basically the same as you are describing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's, maybe it's an adjective in Spanish, apilar or estivar. Uh, yeah, maybe. I've never heard that before, but that's a new word for me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, what about packing? Hmm, what is that? Packing is when you are put inside a box or a bag or, I don't know, for a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It is packing. Packing yes. is putting into a pack. <laughs> into a pack, okay. So listen, I want you to be able to describe the action. Sometimes we know the meaning of the word, but we cannot explain it. That's what I need. So packaging or packing, yeah, is that you have a box. You need to keep something, keep it safe. You put it inside and you close it that's it now we have shipping what is shipping send the product in cool. one direction exactly when you have the packages and you just <laughs> send them deliver it, all those packages perfect okay now how about the next one Look at the first picture and we have Thoto. What is the meaning of Thoto? What do you think? I don't know the meaning. I don't know. A través de? A través. I'm sorry, no. Hector? A través? No. Mm, not really. Thoto. I don't know. Okay, imagine that you have this, um, a document, a very important document, legal document. So before signed the document, what do you need to do? You need to read, read carefully, but very carefully. So that is the meaning of Thoto. You need to search, but very carefully. Yes, it's understood? Yes, teacher. Or imagine when you are in your house and you don't find your keys. <laughs> so what do you need to do? You need to look for the keys, but in a very deep way. You need to look for everywhere. So that is the meaning of Toto. I don't know if it is clear, the meaning of Toto. Yes? The meaning is clear, but I don't, I don't find some word in Spanish, some word in Spanish. To translate it. Uh -huh, okay, yes, in this case, that. it will be like minucioso, right? Or exhaustivo. Una búsqueda exhaustiva, una búsqueda minuciosa, for example. So that is the meaning of thoro, minucioso, exhaustivo. Got it? Yeah, got it. Then we have assessment. What is assessment? As long I, as long as I understand, is an evaluation. 
That is the one. Assessment is just like a synonym of exam. Okay? It's basically the same. Now, let's analyze some questions that include those words. Look at the first question. Volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Does your company use basic warehouse functions like retiring, stacking, packing, or shipping? Thank you. Okay, guys, think about your company. Think about the place where you work. Does your company do these functions? Receiving, stocking, packing, shipping. Do they do that? What do you think? Uh huh. Yes, no, some of them. Ah, we don't uh, receive, my, we packed. Uh huh. At my workplace, um, actually, no, we don't have our a warehouse, but in my own business, I have a warehouse and I receive, I receive. Um, Product, but it's in bulk. Mm, okay. So, do you stock the product? No, I don't. Package? Cheap? Package? When I package, I package the product when I am preparing for delivery to the final customer. Mm, okay. And cheap? Mm, by a truck, no. Okay. In a certain way. In, in a motorcycle, maybe in bats. Okay. Actually, but even... actually don't shipping. Don't shipping by truck. It's don't just ship. Don't ship. Uh, ship. Cheap. Ship is the verb. Receive is the verb. Stock, pack. We add ing when we want to give as a name or as a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't ship um, okay. something in, in a truck, into a truck. All right. Pretty good. Now, how about you okay. guys? Yes? Yeah. In my company, we use all of them. All of them, really? Yes. Pretty good, pretty good. Aha, uh -huh, guys, how about you? In your company, do, do, uh, do you do these functions? Do they have yes. the options of receiving, start, packing, or shipping? Uh, well, in my company, it's, it's also... Yes, packing, and packing, and ship, shipping. All right, very good. So it's very common, right? In some companies, it's very common that they have these functions. Okay. Now let's see the next question. Volunteer for reading, please. Why uh -huh. is it important to us throughout? needs assessment before hiring a 3PL service provider. Thank you. Yesterday, we were practicing and analyzing for our business if we need a 3PL service or not. Now, if you decide to hire a 3PL, do you think, guys, is it necessary or important to do a thorough assessment. So what is the meaning to do a thorough assessment? What do you think? What is that? Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Okay. Maybe evaluation is active. Exactly. So, 
why is it important guys to do a thorough assessment before hiring a 3PL service provider? What do you think? Is that important, yes or no? And why? Uh-huh, what do you think? For me, it's important, but I, I don't know how to explain why I am thinking. Okay. And you guys, is that important to do a thorough assessment before hiring the 3PL party or not? I think it is my important. Uh-huh. Or yes. I cannot hear you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you first, man. <laughs> okay, Nelson, go ahead. Okay, I I think it's important to do a thorough mm -hmm. uh, Why? assess. Why? Because it's, it's, it's to know is important higher CPN or maybe to be a service provider. Mm -hmm. That's a good and way. Then, yes, it's, it's important uh, to know if you need to work house in your in your company or in your, in your manufacturing or delivery before to hiring. Okay, I pretty think, good. I think. It makes sense, totally. Uh -huh, everybody, how about you? Do you think that it's important to do the assessment or not? Yes, the assessment is very in, important because uh, it's necessary to um, evaluate the kind of the, the service. Uh, there is a... a the, there is a good uh, service or own excellent three PLs. The providers uh, help and help you in the company for a better uh, customers, better service. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So remember, everyone, this is like when you hire a new employee you need to analyze the employee, right? If it has the skills that you are looking for, if it is responsible, okay? If it is a good person. The same happens here. When you hire a 3PL logistic party, in this case, you need to analyze. Is that the correct service that you need? Do they have the experience? Are they responsible? It's a good option. So it is totally important to do a thorough assessment. Okay? And that is exactly what we are going to learn to do today. We are going to learn how to do a thorough assessment before hiring a 3PL service. Okay? Now, let's see some vocabulary related to this topic. I have here uh, the logistic services and I have their meanings. We are going to try to analyze these phrases and let's see what the meaning is. For example, lead certification. Have you ever seen these guys, lead certification? Yes. I have never read that. Never? Never. Okay. What is the meaning? I heard someone who says yes. What, what is this? Lead certification. Any idea? It's a, it's a certification, for example, when a company that made construction, made mm -hmm. a building that is friendly when the environment Correct, exactly. Lead certifications, everybody, is a certification that the construction company gets to prove that they are green, to prove that their constructions are safe, 
uh, are friendly with the environment, that they have the good conditions, and of course that it will be safe for people, right? Thank you, Jamie, very good. Now, have you ever heard about the freight for, um, sorry, I forgot it. Is the freight forwarding service? I don't know, it's mine. Uh-huh, what is that? Have you ever heard about it? Freight forwarding service. Let's analyze the vocabulary. Let's see if you remember. Yesterday we saw this word, freight. Do you remember what is that? Yes, it's report. Transport or? Merchandise. Okay, it can be both. Now, do you know what is the meaning of for a forwarding service? Yes, no? Okay. In few okay. words, basically okay. the, uh, this meaning or the meaning for this service is a service of transportation of merchandise or the service of transport for some products. That is the meaning of this, okay? Teacher. Yes? Uh, perhaps it's uh, for transport to the manufacturer, to the store, and, and or the work for distribution. Both, actually. It can be both. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, letter C, disaster recovery plan. Have you ever heard about it? No? Okay, we are going to analyze the meaning. And the last one, cross docking capability. Have you ever heard the cross Docking. Yes. No. Teacher. No. I never have, have heard that. Okay. In the cross docking, guys, is when we have a big warehouse, and there are different um, companies transporting products or saving products on it. I'm going to show you a, a picture of a, how a cross docking looks like, so you can better understand. Okay, um, let me open up it, the picture. Can you see the picture? Yes. Yes. So cross docking is like a big warehouse, okay? Different trucks got there, save the products or keep the product, stock the product there. And all of those packages later will be delivered to the different retail stores. All right? That is the meaning of cross docking. Got in it? This case, in this case, a cross docking is a big warehouse where truck, big truck receive merchandise and and deliver to the other the other stores. I, That's it. I that. Exactly. So in this case, sometimes the packages are not from the same company, right? So we can have this truck is for one company, this other is from another. They deliver all the products in the same place and all of these ones will be distributed in the other stores. That is a cross docking. That's why the meaning of cross. In Spanish, we called it like como un almacenamiento cruzado and it's because of that. It is not sometimes it is not like the same company or because they don't go to the same store in the end. They can be delivered to different places. 
got it? The meaning of cross docking? Yes. In Santa Tecla, in Santa Tecla there, are, there is a warehouse like, like you are saying. What is the name? Bodegas Las Americas. Ah, okay. So imagine, I imagine that is huge, right? It's very huge. All right. So you see, that is it's the meaning for, <laughs> that is the <laughs> meaning of a cross docking. So now we already got a little idea about these phrases. Let's match this logistic service with the meaning of it. So I'm going to give you two minutes, read the definitions, analyze the answers, and then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not, okay? Read carefully, remember the secrets. Look for the keywords, okay? Go ahead. Read carefully, read carefully. Try to find out the keywords. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Richard, what is the meaning of marginal? Which one? Marginal. Yes, what does the meaning? Well, in this context, let's see. Customers or retail change with marginal to not handling or storage time. Well, if you want to translate it, in this case, it's like minor. Like when you say uh, the minimum level. Or okay? nothing. I'm sorry? Means, means marginal to no handling, minimum or nothing handling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Is minimum or insufficient? Those are the ones. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. Are you ready or not yet? Actually, yeah. I'm ready. Ready? Yes. And you guys, you ready? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's analyze the answer and let's see if your answers are correct or not. Let's start with the first one, lead certification. What is that? It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. Do you agree everybody? 
Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, Correct. Exactly. Now, what about the number two? What is that? In my opinion, it's the last one. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the... Uh, um, this next... Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, read the next it. Of, read huh? it. Read it. Its products from supplier are distributed directly to a customer or uh, to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling <laughs> i am blind <laughs> <laughs> handling Say, or hand or storage time very good okay <laughs> so everybody do you agree is that the yeah. one yes mm, maybe. yes <laughs> Ivan says, maybe, okay. Mm. Actually, these ones, if you see, are pretty similar. We are talking about to transport the products. So when we are talking about the freight forwarding service, what is that? Es un servicio de transporte de mercancía. Right? So what does that company do? They organize the shipment. They just need to deliver it. Now, um, disaster recovery plan. Hmm, what is that? Me, teacher. Yes? It is a set of procedures to record and protect a business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Cool. So this is like an insurance, all right? If you suffer a disaster, you need a plan. So the plan is about to recovery when something happens, okay? Okay. <laughs> no está apareciendo en el, en el espacio correcto. Teacher, but... teacher. Yep. The, the, concept, the, the concept, the disaster recovery plans is, a, is a like a backup. Yeah, similar. And actually, most of the companies must have one, right? Because everybody is exposed to a, a disaster. So yeah, you need a backup. You need to know what to do when a disaster happens, okay? Okay. And the last one, the cross docking, volunteer for reading, please. Okay, me? Yes. Um, cross donking capa capability, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Products, products from a suppliers and distributed directly to a customer or retail chains with marginal to no handle it or storage time. All right, thank you. So I know that maybe this vocabulary might be a little confusing, but remember all of these ones, are logistic services that the 3PL offers, okay? So they need to keep this in mind if they want to provide those services. Some companies offer these services, some others don't, okay? But do you consider it is important to have these logistic services? Yes or no? What do you think? In my opinion, it depends about the, the needs the the needs companies have. Mm -hmm. Is in my opinion. Pretty good. Depending on the business, right? Depending on the kind of companies, depending on the goals for each company, those are the logistic services that they will need. Now, if you want to hire a third party logistic, okay, let's analyze the following checklist. And I want you to decide which ones are important and which ones are not. So I want you to think in a business, right? Like yesterday, like the business that you had yesterday. And remember that you want to hire a third party logistics. Imagine that you have like three candidates, 
So you need to pick one. Which are the most important here? For example, they are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Do you think that this is an important characteristic to hire a third party logistic? Yeah, the, the, the suppliers uh, is success operations. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, there, there is a experience ah, very in good. the business. Mm -hmm. So if you consider that this is important, okay, you have to write yes or a check. If you see, mm, uh, for me, it's not important if the company is financially stable. I mean, if it is cheap for me, it's okay. So if you consider that this is not important, okay. Do you have to click in? No. Another one, they have great references. Yesterday, some people were talking about hiring different companies, for example, Pedidos Ya. Okay, I want to hire Pedidos Ya, and I can see that they don't have great references. So is this important? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so if you consider that is important, okay, you have to click in. Yes. But if for you, it's not that important. I mean, I see. Um, for me, it is important if they are financially stable. That's it. If they don't have good reference, well, for me, it's not that important. Okay, you can click in no. So at the end, I wanted to tell me which of these statements do you consider are the most important when you are evaluating a third party logistics? Is it clear? Yes? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer, everybody? Sure. Yes? Yes, the chair, it's clear the activity. Okay. Yes, yes, clear, clear. <laughs> okay, I liked it. So we are going to work in teams. I'm going to send this on WhatsApp's group. Listen, in order to evaluate the third party logistic, first you need to think about the business that you are running. We are not going to have the same teams as yesterday. So you can pick a new company, okay? And according to the needs that your company have, that's the way that you can pick which of these ones are important or not. Now, when you finish, please take a screenshot, okay? And send it on WhatsApp's group. I will need a screenshot per group. Si hay tres grupos, espero recibir three screenshots, okay? If we have four groups, I'm expecting four screenshots. So at the end, I want to see the decisions that all of the groups made. Got it? Clear? Clear like our chat. <laughs> yes, Clear. Uh... Clear as our chat. Ah. <laughs> Okay, I'm sending the pictures on WhatsApp's group. Give me one second. Analyze and try to be real. If one of them for you is not that important, it's okay, there's no problem. The idea, guys, is to see what's your opinion, okay? Let's see, let me just create teams. One second. Okay, if you are in a group alone, just let me know and I will switch you to another team, please. Okay, pretty good, let's go to work.
Hello, Jane. Hello. Edward. I have a problem with my. I have a problem because it's raining here. It's, and oh. I can hear. All right. No worries. I'm going to send uh, some other it's classmates. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no worries. I'm going to send some classmates. Okay, Jamie, because yeah, um, no problem. Okay, I have Nelson and Adriana. Okay, Hector has some issues with the audio because it's raining. So he cannot listen. So let's try to work, girls. Jamie, uh, Adriana, and Nelson. Okay. Okay. Right. Pretty good. We are going to discuss discuss about the Czech league and and to do yes or not for each. A statement about 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't forget to do the exercise and in the end, take the screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know who can point the checklist in the imagine. Let me do, let me try. Okay. Um. um. <laughs> Can you, Adriana? Yes. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. we can start with the in the first. The first say the are financially stable with a long story of successful operation. What do you think, guys? I think there is a yes. Yes, I think it's important too. Okay. It's a big yes. <laughs> okay. It's okay. just. Um, the second one is they have great references. They have great references. I believe that can be. Second yes. is similar to the first, the third question. Because know. if they if they, they are financially stable with a long story of so people, they they have a great reference. So mm -hmm. we need to put yes to. I don't know. I think there is a yes to yes. Likewise. Okay. The okay. third one. They have a disaster recovery plan. See the the company the there is there is a at the cross docking cross docking in different and different uh, stores the company uh, sending and the others country the products uh, for example Guatemala Honduras uh, Costa Rica is is necessary um, 
on disaster recovery plans for a for a for a disaster in the in the in the sending the products in the other country. For me, is uh they have a disaster recovery plan. The answer is yes. In the business, they have great reference. The high grand reference. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And the third thing, they have a disaster recovery plan. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They offer cross docking capability. Yes. Because uh, 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 distributions and the other uh, stores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Ivan, are you completing the, the checklist? Yes, it's. Okay. Ah, pero habría que enviarlo. Send me. Yes, yes. Well, I yes. complete. <laughs> uh, Fatima, do you can you complete her with yes. the answers with of of Ivan? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leadership. Leadership that, and energy. Ah, yes. Okay, uh, tell that, me. I, that is that case, In that case, I don't know if they has they have uh, that certification. <laughs> or I don't remember that. <laughs> That is what it is. It's a, not important, a, but it's a it, plus. It's for construction. Somebody, somebody said that it's for construction and for green building or something like mm -hmm. that. Yes, maybe in yeah. the office or something like that. But I think that it's not important. It's not important. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a plus. It is a plus. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay, is that? Do you agree? Yes. 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 Okay. I'll send to to WhatsApp group that's okay. I will need your names. Christian Arevalo. Okay, give me a sec. Hold on, please. Hermano. I have to. Yes. Okay. They have experience in the countries in which do you, in which you do businesses? Yes. For me, it's very important. Yes. Because the because yes. they must know the country. <laughs> yes. Okay, and the last one. They have lead. A leadership in energy and environment design certification. I think there is no or depend that you need it. Depend depends of the need. I always say also said no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean no. 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 No, okay. Likewise. Okay. 
songs. We are group number one, I guess. We are ready, teacher. Okay, send a screenshot on WhatsApp group, please. Okay. Thank you, Adriana. You're welcome. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher, yes. finishing. Excellent. Yes. Okay, pretty good. We are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, all right, let's go back. Okay, I can see all your answers. Pretty nice analysis, actually, I liked it. Okay, I'm just waiting for everyone. We're going to see the answers from the different teams and we are going to see why they decided those answers, okay? Let's go back for everyone. Okay, I'm checking the answers. You have similars answers but some other teams are different aha uh -huh, okay interesting okay let's analyze the answers but before that let me check attendance if you listen to your names just say present adriana escalante present okay carlos abrego carlos abrego Christian Alexander. Present. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Fatima Denise. Present. Okay. Eh, Germán Alexander. Germán Alexander. Ah, Erika, there you are. Are you a listener? Because I was driving, but now I'm, I'm at home, so. Uh, okay, very I'm good. Here. <laughs> very good, excellent. <laughs> so present. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay, um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Is it still raining? Yes. Okay, yes, no. Raining. Okay, okay. Isabel Hernandez. Present, miss. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present. Okay. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Girón. Present. Pretty good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth. Okay. Um, Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Um, Oscar Armando, well, he's not here. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Very good. Okay, let's analyze the answers that your classmates provided. I have different ones. Let's start. Let's see. Let's start with the first team. In the first team, I have Herman, Christian, Isabel, and Magdaleno. It looks a little bit Bury the image, but let's see. According to their answers, wow, all of them are important, except the last one, that is they had lead certification. So why, team, tell me why do you think that that is not important for you? Uh-huh, a member of the team? Anyone? We discuss about about this option, and we decide that is not important. Is optional. Is a plus if the outsourcing have um, are 
friendly with the environment is optional. It's not. It's a plus if you are hearing. Okay. To to, to them. Mm, okay, that's a plus. Sounds good. All right. Now let's see the other team. Okay, look at here. Wow, in this team, they think, basically they think the same. Okay. So guys, why? Why do you think that to have elite certification is not that important? What do you think? Okay, um, in my company, uh, needs the these characteristics 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 because i sense products to central america uh, the company is it needs it needs an efficient supply chains mm -hmm. and the and the case in the in the last ones the answer is no because uh the company uh, there is a uh they have pardon excuse me they have a certification international that supports the quality of the products. Mm. It's not necessarily the other uh, certification. Certification. The, the, certi excuse me, certification the lead. Mm, okay, that's another option. Pretty good. Okay, and in the last team, I can see that they picked two options that for them are not necessary. Okay, guys, can you explain me why the number four is not that essential for you? Anyone? Holman, Nelson, Adriana, Jamie? Maybe it, does that maybe it depends on the necessity of the necessities of the company and maybe if, if you are um, if you are not a big company, maybe it's not necessary across the key capability because you don't have a big storage. You don't need that. So it's not necessary. So it depends. We said no because we are thinking as a short or little company. But mm. if you are a big one, maybe you said yes. Pretty good, that sounds good. That's a good analysis, I like that. And another member of the team, tell me the number seven. Why do you think that that is not essential? Okay, Holman or Jamie, what do you think? Why the number seven is not that essential for you? Teacher, I, I think mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the pen of the, the company. So in this case, for your company, it's not necessary? Uh, it's, uh, it's a new company, so uh, it, it's, it's okay, but it, uh, we, we, we choose the, the most important important so this one as your classmate said that could be a plus right if they have it nice but it's if okay. they don't have it mm -hmm, it's okay pretty good okay now imagine that you have to pick one oops sorry imagine that you have to pick one as the most important that is essential, 100% necessary that the third party logistic have. Which one would it be? Financially stable, great references, a recovery plan, cross docking, a, they offer the, for, a, the freight forwarding service, the experience in the countries or the lead certification. If you had to pick only one, what would it be the most important for you? Uh -huh. in, my, in my opinion, the first one is the most important because they, if they have financial stable with a long story of successful operation, they can, they, they could uh, handle my business with uh, 
with the better way, the best way. Okay. How about you guys, the other teams? Which one? If I you know. have to pick only one. Teacher. Uh-huh. I agree with Magdaleno. In the number because, one? Yes, the number one because they they have them. They they can or they have a, a lot of experience. They have a freight forwarding service offer cross docking and disaster recovery plan. They have a lot of things. That's a good observation. Imagine if you have financially stable with long history of successful operation, that means these characteristics can cover all of these ones, right? Pretty good. So guys, if you see, this is the way that we can make a checklist. So when we are considering candidates for our third party logistic. So is it clear the way that we can create a checklist? The vocabulary is clear? Yes? Yeah. Everyone? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Now, let's just stop thinking about the third party logistic for a while. Yesterday, we were using social expressions. Do you remember it? I remember some one. Which ones? I'm off. I'm off, okay. <laughs> Very good. What else? Which others do you remember, guys? What a shame. Very good, what a shame. <laughs> Teacher, I, mm -hmm. I confused two pronunciations with uh, suerte y llave, look and luck or something like that. Please explain me that. Okay, in this case, llave is key. If you want no. to close a door with the key, you say lock. Yes, is that the question? Okay, look, if we search the pronunciation, the position of the mouth, is the ones that is going to indicate the pronunciation. It's, if we listen to, it's just the same. For example, I'm going to write it here. Um, do you mean lock, the lucky? With lock, they close the door with a key, right? Am I right? Yes, it's that. Yes, okay. it's that. If you see, the vowels are different. But look, the pronunciation, honestly, it's similar. In phonetics, what we make the difference is the position of the mouth, okay? If you say the first one, like good luck, the position of the mouse is like, uh, uh, like you say luck, luck. And in the other one is more like ah, uh, Ah, uh, luck, luck. So we that we are learning the language, maybe you might think, teacher, I cannot see the difference. For me, they sound the same. Yeah, but when you put the mouth in a different position, the sounds might start sounding a little different. So again, luck, luck. So basically in the pronunciation, that's the only difference. It's not so big the difference, but you can try, okay? Again, luck, luck, <laughs> okay? A, pretty, a little bit funny, the position of the mouth, but yeah, that's the difference, okay? All yes, right, get it. pretty good. What else? Do you remember some other phrases from yesterday? Go ahead. Go ahead. What else? Everybody? No way. Ah, very good. No way. So yesterday we were practicing these phrases. I know that they are kind of simple because I'm pretty sure that you already know them. But the idea is try to apply them, try to use them in different scenarios. 
Now, let's see some others. Be careful. What is the meaning? Not the translation. In which scenarios can I use be careful? What do you think? Your step. <laughs> <laughs> On your steps, yes. When you are driving, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, be careful, right? Now, bless you. Hmm, what is that? Bless you. When you do a sneeze. <laughs> when you sneeze, yes. What happens when you sneeze? Into, ah, shoo. Into... Uh -huh. ah. What do people say? Bless you. Yes, Bless. <laughs> sometimes in Spanish we say bless you. Sometimes we say Jesus, <laughs> right? I've heard different people saying different things. Um, cheers. Teacher, teacher yes? excuse me. Go ahead. The the expression bless you is uh when uh, uh the person estornuda. Yes, sneeze es estornudar. Bless you mm -hmm. is like another example. When you go to the church and you see uh, people it, it, at church, uh, they say bless uh -huh. you too. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same, yes. The same expression, bless you. Exactly. Is exactly the same meaning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we get the next one. Uh, cheers. When do we use that phrase? Cheers. When we are when drinking wine. wine. When we are uh, drinking uh. wine. Very good. When we are celebrating that. What else? Any other occasion? Well, those ones are like the most common. Congratulations. When do we use that one? When you finish the level. <laughs> ah, very good. Exactly. When you finish the platform, right? Congratulations, guys. Okay. Next one. Good luck. The uh -huh. first be with you. <laughs> <laughs> the first be with you. That's a good one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good luck. You have a, a, a good look, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, good luck. Imagine before an exam, before a job interview, right? You can say, good luck. Um, the next one, help yourself. Have you ever seen that one? Help yourself, yes. Imagine that you go to your best friend's house and you say, hey man, I need water. I would like some water. And your friend says, hey man, go to the refrigerator and take whatever you want. So what is that? Do it by yourself. Yes, in this case, it's like, if we translate it, it's like, vaya y sirva si usted, todo lo que quiera, right? <laughs> so that is basically the meaning that we have here in Spanish. Help yourself take the food that you want, okay? Sirvete um, a ti mismo. Yes, exactly. Uh, here you are. What is that? It is when you when somebody somebody gives to you something and here you are. Ah, okay. And where is in where is very common to listen to this phrase? Here you are. This is very common in the restaurants. When you ask the order, and when they give you the order, they say. Here you are. So what is the translation in Spanish? Nosotros no decimos, aquí tú estás. No, right? What do we say in Spanish? Aquí, aquí tienes. Tiene. Exactly. Very good. Next. 
My condolences. I'm, pretty, I'm sorry. Ah, very good. This one, especially when somebody dies, right? You can say, hey, somebody, my family passed away. Oh, man, receive my deep condolences or I do sorry. Now, never mind. This is very typical in women when they are angry. <laughs> forgetting, forgetting something. Um, it's not don't think about it. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it's, like a, it's like a forget something. Yeah, this is like you say, imagine that you are talking to your husband or to your wife. And that person is not listening and you repeat again and that person didn't pay attention and you repeat again and nothing. And then the person said, I'm sorry, what do you say? And you say, ah, never mind. Okay, like I forget it. <laughs> okay, that is the meaning of that. It's a little bit rude. Okay, so be careful with the intonation or the intention that you are using this one. Um, then same to you hmm, what is that what do you think when can we use that one same to you it's same to likewise i'm sorry it is same is it same to likewise or as well to you as well to you. This is the same when we say like you too. Okay. If I say, it's like, uh, uh huh. When when you say me bless you, same to I you, right? Thanks to you. Exactly. That's the one. Or imagine if somebody says, "Hey, have a good day." Same to you. Okay. Have a nice weekend or have a nice trip. Same to you. You are wishing the same as the other person is wishing you. That's it. Mm -hmm. So uh, here we got some sentences. Let's match the sentences with the correct phrase. For example, if I say, hi oh, guys, I have an important exam tomorrow. Hmm, which phrase will you say to me? Good luck. Ah, very good. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> now, um, imagine that I say, <gasps> mm. uh -huh. bless you. Be careful. Bless you. Bless <laughs> Be you. careful. I like that one. But no, right? We say. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Go to the doctor or wear a mask. Okay, but if it is not COVID, we say, okay, bless you, right? <laughs> okay, if you are in a party and someone says cheers, what would you say? Cheers. Cheers, cheers. to, right? We answer with the same expression, cheers. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for the number four, please. I must try home now. But I am very tired. 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 <laughs> All right. What is the phrase here? Be, Be careful. careful. Totally. Be careful. Number five, volunteer for reading. <clears throat> it uh -huh. says. I don't think we'll have time to stop here. Okay. So, hmm, what can I use here? Never mind. Never mind? Do you agree, everybody? Yeah, imagine, uh, imagine that you are driving and you say, I am hungry. I don't think we'll have the time to stop here, but ah, never mind. Let's go. <laughs> so even though you stop there. Number six, can I take another chocolate? Help yourself. Help yourself. Uh -huh. Help yourself. 
Help yourself. Pretty good. You sure. Yes. Our question with the number number five. Mm -hmm. I think we will or will. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. Well, you say I don't think will. well. In this case, is the future contractions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like to say we, we will. will. The pronunciation mm -hmm. in this case, we'll see. We are going to say will. Yes. I don't think we, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't think we'll have time to stop here. Or you can say, I don't think we will have time. It's just a contraction of the future form. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, imagine guys that I say tomorrow, hey, have a good weekend. Mm, say to you. Ah, very good. Same to you. So let's stop saying you too, you too, you too. No, let's try to change it. Let's start saying same to you. Okay. Now, um, could you pass me? Uh huh. Just the question. I'm sorry. I hear today. Wait, wait. <laughs> a phrase that he says. A uh, so do you. Oh, that's a beautiful expression too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. Okay. But guys, I totally recommend you to use those phrases. Those phrases sound so cool. And if you want, we can practice those phrases in the class. Imagine that I say, I like pizza. The most typical answer, if you like pizza too, como decimos? Ah, me, me too. <laughs> too. Y aburrimos, right, con el me too. So there is the nice expressions that we can use. Instead of saying me too, <clears throat> we can say, so, so do, do I. I. And it so sounds beautiful. I love those expressions. And so we do. can use it in all the grammar tenses. We can use it in all the person, singular, plural, present, past, future, with models, with auxiliaries. So these phrases are pretty cool. I highly recommend you to use them. Those will help you to sound more like intermediate than basic. Okay? And Teacher. also use likewise. Okay, I heard two people. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Who we use likewise? What do you mean? Likewise. Um, likewise, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's nice to use that one too. So use them. I mean, the idea, guys, is just to use something different, right? Instead of just me too or me neither, because we can use those phrases for negative too. Instead of saying me neither, me neither, imagine if I say, guys, I don't like sushi. So instead of saying I, me neither, we can say neither do I. So those phrases sounds pretty cool. Um, I heard someone else had a question. Tell me. Yes, and I heard in some um, exp from some expressions very um, always using in the series the expression though. Though. What? Like, what? And when can I use though? Like this? Though. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Though. It's a synonym of but or oh, however. Yeah. They are the okay. same. And not only though, we have though or there is the other one, there is although. But the meaning is the same. Some people say though, some people say although. But they are exactly as if you say but or however. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's continue. Um, could you pass me the salt? What would you say? Help yourself. Mm, but we oh. already used that. Mm. 
Here you Here are. You are. Ah, very, very good. You Here you are. Perfect. Okay, if I say, hey guys, my aunt died today. My condolence. My condolence. Okay, pronunciation. Condolences. Condolences. Mm -hmm. condolences. My condolences. Pretty good. Condolences. The last one. Hey, I passed my driving test. Congratulations. 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 Teacher, I finished the platform. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Right? Never mind. So, <laughs> never <laughs> mind. Hmm. Be careful. Be careful. Uh -huh. Okay. So, again, these phrases are very common. Right? So the idea, guys, is to apply them, to use them in order to sound a little bit more natural. So para variar, tratemos de usar estas frases <clears throat> instead of using just the same. Okay? Clear? Yes. Okay. Totally I, I hope you don't forget the phrases because later we are going to use them, okay? So be careful with that. Now, we are going to check something different, talking about using different words and not just the same, right? We are going to see some extreme adjectives, good and bad. So instead of using just the same, the same and the same adjectives, Let's change it for some synonyms, okay? I have here some adjectives. Some of them have positive meaning and some of them are a little bit negative. So which of these adjectives do you consider are positive? Awesome. Awesome, okay. Brilliant. 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 Okay. Yeah. Terrific. Wonderful. 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 Terrific. Terrific is uh, is positive. It's extremely bad. Mm, are you sure? Sound like bad. Terrific. Okay. Look at this. What yeah. Actually, guys, terrific is possible. I don't what know name? if. Yes. Look at this. If I ask you, hey guys, how are you? You can say, teacher, I'm terrific. <laughs> and it's not negative, guys. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Nope. No? Yes. Nope. <laughs> I, at the beginning, when I heard that the first time, I thought it was something negative, but it's not. Terrific is like a synonym of fantastic <laughs> mm -hmm. okay but just be careful terrible terrible is negative okay mm -hmm. terrific is positive okay <clears throat> now what else is positive or negative what do you think Dread, dreadful horrendous dreadful Horrendo. what dreadful. about appealing what is that have you ever heard that before? No idea. Appealing. Appealing is just basically, guys, a synonym of horrendous. They are just synonyms. Okay? So now mm. the idea is to try to use those adjectives. Sometimes we say just good, fine, bad okay so imagine if i ask you hey how are you instead of saying fine good we can use different adjectives today teacher i feel terrific i'm wonderful i feel awesome how was your day oh my day was terrible instead of saying bad how is the traffic Ah, the traffic is horrendous. Ah, horrendous. the traffic is a pale integer. Was well, terrible. Uh huh. Terrible. So let's just stop using just the same one like bad, good, fine. 
That's the idea, to use synonyms, to use more extreme adjectives. Is it clear, the meaning for these ones? Teacher, what is pronunciation? The asombroso, awesome. Awesome. Excuse me? Awesome. Like this. Awesome. 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 It's like awesome. Como que si la W doesn't sound. Awesome. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, do you have any other questions about the meaning of these adjectives? The first one's appealing. Appealing. Okay. Yes. And dreadful. I'm dreadful. Sorry, I don't know what it means. It's just a synonym of horrendous. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are synonyms. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's move on. I have here, guys. If you want to use these adjectives, remember that these are like extreme adjectives, okay? Um, if you want to use extreme adjectives and you want to make like an emphasis, we use the word, which one? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay? When we're talking, and this is something that we used to do, we say very, Happy, a very sad, a very good. And the point is that we always say very, right? Very, very. Now, if we use extreme adjectives, we cannot say just very, ah, very awesome, a very terrible. Mm, not really. Instead of using very, what is the word that we can use? Absolutely. 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 How was the traffic? Absolutely terrible. terrible. <laughs> exactly. Hey, guys, how was your weekend? Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> ah, let's be positive. Come on. <laughs> so we can use absolutely. Instead of very. Teacher, question. Mm -hmm. I used to use a lot of uh, uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty awesome. I don't know if it is correct. But I used it to is actually lot. pretty and very, they are synonyms. But yeah, I prefer that you use pretty instead of very. I prefer that. It, it, we can use it uh, in this extremely what adjectives extremely adjectives we can use it well depends remember guys we are saying that let's avoid very with the extreme adjectives and very and pretty they are just synonyms so mm -mm, let's try to avoid it instead of that it's better if you use absolutely I'm not saying that it's totally prohibited. Like, guys, si me dicen pretty wonderful is a grammar mistake. Not really. I'm just suggesting that the best option is to mention absolutely. Okay? It sounds better or, or sounds more naughty or? Both, actually. Both. And mm two. -hmm. Oh. Yeah, you can use two. Just mm -hmm. remember that if you use two before an adjective, like a um, two, too bad, for example, or too terrible, remember two is only when the sentence has a negative <laughs> meaning. We cannot say, I, my day was too wonderful. Mm, not really, because two is for negative. So two is like when we say demasiado de algo. So si me están diciendo demasiado wonderful, eso se entiende que fue más de lo que ustedes desearían. Por ende, ya el significado se vuelve negative. Okay, so two, yes, you can use it, but if the sentence has a negative meaning. And so? So it's 
No, in this case, so you can use it. There's no problem. So wonderful. You can use it for both, for positive or negative. You can say so wonderful. And also you can say so terrible. There's no problem. You can use it with both, positive or negatives. Um, I saw two people lift their hands. So Magdalena, go ahead. Yes, teacher. Um, when I want to say, when I want to use um, "suck," for example, yeah. it was a so beautiful moment. Such, or, such, such, uh -huh. such. Be are... careful with the pronunciation. Okay, such. Mm -hmm. um, uh, other example could be um, uh, she is a so wonderful woman. Woman. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a such smart woman, so it's such, 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 such um, handsome man is correct. Yes, you can, can say she is such a beautiful woman. This is like, um, such as is so beautiful. I mean, but a lot. So yes, you can use it, but be careful to pronounce it correctly. Such, because such. when you say that I heard suck and, and that is mm. totally negative. Yeah. Okay, so such, such. such. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the other question is for what a beautiful blah, blah, blah. What a, what a beautiful something. day. Yes, you can use it that. And that is an expression, remember guys, Expressions, there are a lot, and you can use all of them. And those specific expressions like such as beautiful, uh, what a beautiful, da -da -da, what a wonderful, da -da -da, those are just to make an emphasis, like to exaggerate a little bit the feelings or the opinion that you have about something. Okay? Okay. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Pretty good. Okay. These words that we are using here for the ones who maybe don't feel related with too, so, very, pretty, such as a, what a wonderful, what a beautiful, those are just adverbs of degree. If you want to search it on the internet and learn a little bit more about it, it's adverbs of degree that they indicate how high or how low is the degree of an adjective, okay? Now, uh, let's go back in, let's go back on track in this case. Remember, absolutely is for this kind of adjectives. If you are using common adjectives, in this case, you can use the word very, okay? So no problem at all. Now, I got here a list with ordinary adjectives and some extreme adjectives. Let's match the, uh, the synonyms. So for example, if I have tired, tired is the ordinary adjective, okay? That is the word that we always use. But instead of tired, Hmm, what could be the extreme adjectives that we can use? What is the synonym of tired? Could be letter C, exhausted. Exhausted? Yes. yes. So you can say very tired or what is the expression that we can use with exhausted? Absolutely Close. exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. So guys, in this scenario, let's try to avoid tired. I mean, if you really feel bad, I mean, you can say, teacher, I'm exhausted. And sound much better, okay? How about hungry? Instead of hungry, Starving. what can we say? Starving. Ah, oh, very good. Teacher, I'm starving. I haven't... A had dinner, okay? Dirty, what will be the synonym for dirty? What do you think? The letter D, filth. 
feel filthy. filthy. That's the one. They are synonyms. <clears throat> Sorry. So in this case, imagine that you don't take a shower one day. <laughs> you will be dirty. But if you don't take a shower for one month, <laughs> that's another level, right? So you will be absolutely filthy. Totally, totally dirty. Okay. Crowded. Do you know, do you remember the meaning for crowded? Yes. Yes. Well, it's with a lot of people. A lot of people. What could be a synonym, guys, for crowded? Any idea? I'm tiny. No, mm. no, 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 no. No, tiny is a small. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. so let's match it. Instead of small mm -hmm. guys, let's start saying tiny. Tiny. Tall. Maybe it's huge. Huge. Mm. Ah, no, you should be. Big. Big. Huge. Okay. Big. Hot is boiling. Boil. Hot is boiling. Boil. So yes. imagine what's the weather like? It's hot, but sometimes it's more than hot. It's Absolutely. boiling. <laughs> Pretty good. Teacher, teacher yes. cold is freezing. Cold, yeah. very good. It's freezing. Tasty, delicious. Very good. Tasty is. Yeah, excuse me, tasty. Delicious. Okay, what is the only ones that we haven't got it? Angry. 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 Furious. furious. How are you today? I am furious. <laughs> okay. Make an emphasis. I'm furious. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> furious. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crowded? furious. Okay. Crowded in the end. Packed. Pronunciation. Oh, packed. Excellent. Packed. 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 It's like when we say full, okay? A lot of something. Packed. Packed. Packed the people. <laughs> <laughs> Topado. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for us in Spanish, una cosa es que esté lleno, otra cosa es que esté topado, right? It's packed. You cannot even walk. So those are ordinary and the extreme ones. With the ordinary, we can use very, very tired, very hungry, uh, very angry. But with the extreme adjectives, we can use absolutely. Absolutely mm, delicious. Ah, he is absolutely furious. Got it? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. now because the idea is that you apply these adjectives, we are going to have a practice. But first, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Cool. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Um, Christian Alexander, Christian Alexander, present here. Okay, Erika Yasmin, present, Fatima Denise, present teacher, uh, Germán Alexander, present teacher. Okay, um, Hector Francisco, present teacher. All right, Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Right. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Giron. Present. Lucy Natalie. Present. Eh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Oh, he's not there. Sorry. And Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Pretty good. All right, let's practice the extreme adjective 
I want you to describe some things. And in order to help you, I got here a list of the adjectives that you can use. So we are going to take turns to describe, for example, a place you have visited recently. The place can be a beautiful place or a bad place. When you are describing it, imagine that you want to say, you know what, guys, I went to a beautiful park. Okay, so here you have the adjectives <laughs> and these are the extreme adjectives that I want you to use. I, that park was clean. Hmm, instead of clean, which one can I use? Spotless. spotless. Uh -huh. So that park was spotless. I love that. However, mm, there were some, imagine I want to use the phrase ugly instead of ugly, which one can I use? Hey. Uh huh. Okay. And actually, I felt happy. Okay, instead of happy, jubilant. Okay, I felt jubilant. The weather was a little, can I say hot? No, let's try to say it was boiling. So, this location, sorry. Instead of jubilant, could be um, gosh, I forgot the word. Georgia's, maybe. Uh, no. Georgia's. Exciting, exciting. Yes, those are synonyms. Okay. And actually, you can use both because if you say excited, that counts as extreme adjective. Yes. In the case of gorgeous, it's a little bit different because gorgeous is not happy. This is like pretty or beautiful. Gorgeous, preciosa, right? Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. So we are going to describe these things, a place that you visited. I want you to describe your favorite movie. Okay. What's, how's the movie and why you liked it? Describe your job, <laughs> okay? You can use positive or negative adjectives. And also describe your hometown. What is the meaning of hometown? Hometown. What is that? Lugar de origen. Yes, your city, guys. The city where you live, okay? That is hometown. So, uh, I'm going to send the screenshot so you can have there the adjectives. And remember, if you use extreme adjectives, you can use the phrase absolutely. Okay? Is it clear? Questions before going to the breaking rooms? Nope? Nope. Okay, pretty good. If your classmate is not using extreme adjectives tell them hey man try to use them try to use extreme adjectives okay the idea guys remember is try to apply new vocabulary that's the objective okay um i'm creating the groups give me one second pretty good let's go to practice Hello. Hello. I am I am looking and searching the word what I want to say. I don't remember. It's not George's. I don't remember what it is. George hey hello. Beautiful? I don't remember hello, what it is. Hello, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Beautiful. No, it's for say happy, but I don't remember what is that. Happy. Yes, it is I, I confuse with <laughs> <Love George. sunshine. laughs> 
No. Is okay. I am. I am looking for that. I have okay. to found. I have to find that. I'm looking for that. Okay. 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 okay let's, let's start. Somebody. Somebody can share your screen, ladies. I don't know. I'll use my phone. I can share it. I guess. Can you see my screen? Um, yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You the doors to scrap place you have visited using a string adjectives. Well, I visited, um, where you are, and it's it's very um spotless now like uh, and that place are very delicious food okay who wanna be first ladies first men's okay at the end. okay okay for me like a few years ago i traveled to another country and then for me, it was the most uh, fantastic. No, the most, no. It was absolutely fantastic to go there because it was another experience, absolutely. But what it was absolutely terrifying, uh, terrible, sorry, was to, uh, how to say it, the customer service from the, Flight attendants. My goodness, that was absolutely terrible. Where was? Hmm? Where was uh, that experience? In the flight attendants, it was in Avianca. In a flight? On the flight. The flight attendant, oh. actually. She was. Mm, she was not gorgeous, actually. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, uh, absolutely hide us. Hide us. Hide us. They look like hide us, right? No, maybe, her personality. Maybe she, maybe she was exhausted, yeah, Erica. <laughs> we just worked. Maybe I I don't think so because I work a lot of time a lot of uh, years in customer service and instead in I was tired I always receive receive the client the, the customer with a smile so oh. for me it doesn't have sense but it's just for me yeah sometimes sometimes when we work a lot we could be uh, frustrated, maybe. Yeah, we got this, but I don't think it's an ex an excuse or an. Uh... <laughs> okay, excuse me for <laughs> the excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Describe a place you have visited using string adjectives. Sometimes, uh, uh, once upon a time, <laughs> I visit, I visited um, El Cadejo, El Cadejo in El Mahawal. It was also, um, it was, uh, a, what is the word? It's the Swiss land of Central America. <laughs> Central America is the point. But it's a good place. It is near, but it's so difficult. It's so it's so different. Yeah. <laughs> and that is is strange. But yes, yes. Another another place. German. Hi. German. Are you are you yes. are you be there? German. 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 Ah. Saul. 
Sorry. Your man? Yes. How yes. is huh? What places uh, how you have visited? Mm, I went to the hospital. Um, the last year. And, uh, you can you yeah. can use um a stream objective. It was uh, I I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital, and it was uh as absolutely fantastic. And. The, the the weather the weather was was uh, also lovely. Um, I don't know what activity I do. Oh. Reason? Uh, yes, very, uh, too, very, very cold. Too cold. And oh, no, it, it, it's very, it's very sorry. <laughs> yes, and, and uh, uh, as well, uh, the the place uh, it was as absolutely uh, um, mm -hmm. oh, absolutely hope okay. <laughs> We can we can do the next point. Um, Your favorite how, movie. Mm -hmm. How can you describe your favorite movie? Country, Russia, Albania is a uh, last name. Really? Okay. Really? For me, it's a name. In the other country, Russia is a last name. Russia. Petro huh? Petrovich, Petrovich meaning uh, is, uh, Peterson. In yes. Spanish, Hijo de Pedro. But this name uh -huh. is, is for what? Excuse me? This name is for what? A uh, player oh, soccer, soccer player or something no, like no, that? No, 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 no. My name is uh, my father uh, uh, reading the book. Mm. The the writer in the in the in the book is uh, Ivan Petrovich Pavlov. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Okay, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone to let, to go back to the main room. Time's up, everyone. Okay, time's up. Let's wait Is for a question for you. Yeah? Did you watch uh, the movie, the name is Whale? Um, oh, with the, with the, I, I didn't, I just, I just, I'm trying to remember the name of the actor, Brendan Fraser, right? Yes. Yeah, I saw the trailer, but I never, I thought I never had the time to watch it. I always wanted it, but I never did. Is that good? Yes, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> 
what happens is that I'm very sensitive and I'm pretty sure that if I see that movie, I will cry. <laughs> so I try to avoid it a little bit too. Did you cry? Yes. A lot. So you yeah, see, lot. if yeah. I will cry too. Natalie, do you watch it? Yeah, I watch it. I, 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 that was my favorite movie at the moment, the last I watched. Oh, really? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. that I'm I'm gonna cry if I watch it too. <laughs> watch it, come on. Uh, I'll Don't try. Don't worry if you have a uh, um baggy eyes. <laughs> baggy eyes to the next day. Don't worry. It's oh come on. The history, the script, the video. Wow, for me, the best. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, <laughs> and I'll try. I'll try it. Okay, so guys, easy or difficult to use extreme adjectives? What do you think? It's difficult, teacher. Ah. Because the, the almost word are, are new for exactly. me. Exactly. So guys, remember the purpose for the intermediate, and this is always that I am always say. Here in intermediate, we need to learn the vocabulary and talk. That's the purpose for the intermediate level. Not so much grammar because grammar is something that you already know. We just need to make it better. But most of the goals for here is learn vocabulary and speak a lot, okay? I know that is difficult, but little by little, let's just start changing some adjectives, at least the most commons. We already see, instead of saying bad, okay, let's change it for terrible. Okay, let's do it small changes. And then little by little, we are going to be improving the vocabulary. Got it? Yes? Okay. That's great. Yes, I got it. Practice, please. No worries, we are going to continue practicing vocabulary and speaking, no worries. So guys, but unfortunately we don't have more time. So the winner for tonight is Nelson. Okay, Nelson, you had to stay. Everybody, you are free to go. Have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Take Good care. Night. See you. Goodbye. I wanna... Take care. Goodbye. I my phone. <laughs> what happened is that you want to stay. Uh -huh. I have a trouble. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, Nelson, how are you? Mm, I'm getting sick, teacher. Getting sick? Oh my gosh, really? Yes, about flu. Okay. Do you have, I mean, do you have? medicine over there yes maybe one hour one hour ago okay yeah take yeah. medicine please so you can feel better okay i don't want to take a lot of time you know that the purpose for this meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have so i don't know if you have a question about the class the topic or about the platform this is your moment okay no maybe about the about the the topic Mm -hmm. um, Which ones? In general. Okay. Because uh, the almost top topic was or are a little difficult to to speak. I think it because for for the the almost person don't use the the words or the or the or the old right mm -hmm. word. At the moment. Those words, yeah. And what happens is that we don't know the vocabulary, right? So my recommendation in this case, I mean, I'm not asking you to memorize all the words así ya, aprendaselas todas. No. <clears throat> Por eso les digo, vamos poquito a poco. Si se fija ahí en la tablita, lo primero que quiero que haga es revise los vocabularies que ya se pueda. For example, you say, okay, ya sé cómo decir good. Ya sé qué significa good. Okay, ahora lo que voy a hacer es que en lugar de decir good, ¿qué voy a decir? Fantastic. Fantastic. So, 
vamos tratando la manera de aplicar bastante el fantastic. Fantastic. Eh, ¿Cómo sí. estuvo su día? Hey, fantastic. ¿Cómo estuvo la comida? Ah, it was fantastic. ¿Qué tal la película? Hey, fantastic. ¿Ok? Cuando okay. ya dominemos el fantastic, cambiemos a otro adjective. ¿Cuál es un adjective bien común y que ya nos podemos? Happy, for example. Or tired. En este caso, si se fijan, yo todos los días les pregunto, how are you? Casi siempre nos sentimos tired porque pues estamos terminando la jornada. Así que, ok, tratemos de evitar tired y a partir de mañana vamos a decir... Exhausted. Exactly, exhausted. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm exhausted, teacher. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Ok, si no estuvo fantastic, vamos a decir... Terrible. Ok, quedémonos hasta ahí. Tres adjectives. Para el resto okay. de esta semana, empecemos a decir fantastic, terrible, and exhausted. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. Simple, little by little. Luego... Cuando ya aprendamos esos, marquemos otros tres, ¿ok? Y en lugar de decir small, ya no digamos small, digamos tiny. En lugar de decir big, digamos huge. Así que por eso le digo, no les estoy pidiendo que se los aprendan de memoria ya todos. No, little by little. La idea es ir reemplazando algunos adjectives por otros, para salir ya de lo común y empezar a usar el nuevo vocabulary. Ok. Ok, teacher. Uh, people that, that have a advanced level uh, used to use the, those words. Some of them. Adding. Yes, that's Great. the idea. That's the idea. So, if you see, aquí sucede, depende de cada estudiante. Right? Entre más vocabulary tengamos, más vamos a poder hablar. Pero si se fija, y eso pasa aquí en el nivel intermedio. En el nivel intermedio, no todos están hablando igual. Hay unos que pueden un poquito más, hay otros que pueden un poquito menos. Y ahí depende de la cantidad de vocabulary que cada estudiante se esté aprendiendo. ¿Ok? Hay estudiantes okay. en advanced levels que tienen más vocabulario que otros. Así que va a depender de cuánto nosotros vayamos aprendiendo el vocabulary. Así que por eso desde ya aquí en Intermediate, por eso los motivo a que tratemos de irnos aprendiendo poquito a poco. Tres palabras, dos palabras diarias o una palabra diaria que nos vayamos aprendiendo, ya eso es bastante. ¿Ok? Así que no se me abrume. No, poquito a poco. Si tiene post-its, pegue así en la pared la palabra que se quiere aprender. Y pase aprendiéndosela. Cuando ya se la pueda, listo, escriba otra. Así que little by little. Little okay? by little. Exacto. Okay. Thank you for your help. <laughs> It's a pleasure. Very good. I'm here to help you. So, do you have any other question or comment? Uh, I was, I wonder if, if, you, if you can tell me uh, what do you think about my vocabulary or, or how I learn into English. Okay, be honest, if I had to compare with the previous level, siento que en este level me está hablando un poquito más. Sentí que en el nivel anterior, en el, pre -intermedi en el intermediate 3, sí conversaba, sí platicaba, pero no era tanto como lo está haciendo ahorita. Entonces, al menos en el speaking, yo siento que sí me está incrementando más. Cuando yo pregunto algo, siempre siento que me está queriendo opinar, dándome su opinión sobre algo. Y eso para mí es un plus. Eso es una gran ganancia. Siento que lo shy se le está quitando mucho, me está participando bastante. Con respecto al no. vocabulary, sí nos falta manejar un poquito más algunas palabras para poder incrementarlo. Como le digo, a veces siento que usamos palabras así como las más básicas y creo que en eso podríamos mejorar un poquito más. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Pero no, sí. Solo déjeme explicarle algo. Uh -huh. en, el, en el anterior, el, el punto es de que yo soy así. Cuando la mayoría de gente está hablando al mismo tiempo, no me gusta meterme en la, en la conversación a mí. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando alguien inicia, mejor así lo dejo, que continúen. 
Okay. Y como quien dice, me quitaron el impulso. Me... <risa> okay. Entonces, esa es la situación del, del nivel anterior. Ah, ok. Entonces, lo que, lo que trato es de como adelantarme a, a los demás compañeros <risa> para tratar de participar. No es que ah. no me guste participar. Very good. Que, que Qué no bueno, me gusta bueno saberlo. Cuando hablan, cuando hablan más de dos al mismo tiempo, no, <risa> no sé, no, no voy con eso. Yeah, and I understand. Y bueno saberlo, es bueno saberlo porque así ya sé el por qué, right? De a veces del por qué no está opinando, así que gracias por decirlo, es bueno saberlo. ¿Ok? Ok. Pretty good. Pero sí, me gusta cómo participa. Igual cuando vamos a los breaking rooms, I can see that you always participate. You try to give your opinion. You help your classmates. So that is great. Como le digo, participation is good. Tal vez lo que necesitamos es aprendernos un poquito más de palabritas nuevas para incluirlas en nuestro vocabulary y así poder expresarnos de una mejor manera. Porque a veces sabemos la respuesta, sabemos lo que es, pero no encontramos cómo explicarlo. Así que Excelente. por ahí es donde necesitamos como un poquito más de vocabulary so we can explain and express the ideas. Ok. okay Pretty good. Ok, I know that you are tired, so we are going to stop here. Espero que siga mejor de salud. So please take medicines and okay, I hope teacher. you get better soon. Ok. Thank you for helping, teacher. My pleasure. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye.